What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Now I noticed my subscriber count has been increasing quite a bit lately, so if you are brand new to the channel, welcome. My name's Matt, like I mentioned. I do a lot of SEO, mostly local websites, so basically ranking a website in the search engines for a local type of business. So it could be lawn care or plumbing or those types of businesses. And I either work with clients directly and do the work for their site to get their site to show up so they can get more customers, or I do it for my own sites for selling the leads to those businesses, or I'll do it as a paper call affiliate where an affiliate network provides me with a phone number and I facilitate phone calls for them when they sell the lead to the businesses that need them. And in the process of doing all of the work that goes into ranking websites and, and generating traffic and generating conversions, I share as much of it as I possibly can here on my channel so that way you guys can learn how to do the same thing and, and we can build a big community in the process. So if you are interested in joining ever-growing community and family, go down below and smash that subscribe button. So now for the beginning stages of this new website. If you did not see that video, I will put a link to it down below in the description or a card on the screen somewhere. Because if you're brand new to building websites and ranking them in the search engines, you're, you'll want to understand what's exactly going on. But long story short, I went to pick up a PBN, which is a website that you use a collection of to basically send links to a website that you want to rank. And what that does is, is help make an influence to Google by basically saying that this particular plumbing site, for example, or lawn care company's website is the best place to get information on on a lawn care service in, in Des Moines, Iowa, for example. And so what Google's gonna do is reward our site by increasing its ranking, and then we can increase the amount of traffic coming to the site via that search engine result. So long story short, on this particular domain, when it was delivered, it ended up being an exact match domain that someone else had used for their business whether they were a marketer like me and they were doing it for selling leads or they were a business owner that used it for their own site. But either way though, there are already metrics on this domain. Now it should be relatively simple to rank this site, but we shall see here in the coming months. And of course, I'll be showing you guys all this along the way. If you're brand new to SEO, basically what an exact match domain is when someone builds a website and the website domain is the exact thing that they wanna rank for. So we have like Miami, Florida plumbing. So we go down here, let's see if there's one. There we go, plumbing in Miami, Florida. So that's that's the keyword right there. That's basically what this domain is, is something very, very similar to that. Anyways, I'm going to complete this transaction. I will see you guys on the other side in the dashboard. By the way, if you're interested in getting a domain or hosting, there are links right down below to Namecheap as well as HostGator. And when you use promo code one cent at HostGator, you can get your first month's hosting for a penny. So basically next to nothing. And I know a lot of people are on a tight budget when when it comes to starting their business. So when you combine this right here, plus Namecheap, which is about $12 a year for the domains, it is very, very affordable to just get started, to start building the foundation of your business. And yes, the products and services that I recommend like Namecheap, gigs and vendors on the legit marketplace, those are all affiliate links and I receive commissions from each sale. However, I've done business with a lot of these companies for multiple, multiple years. However, I am a firm believer in recommending to my community good quality products and services that I use every single day in my business. If I wanted to promote crap just to promote crap, I would say, hey, go get ClickFunnels and go get Shopify. Even though we don't do any e-commerce here anymore, and we also don't use ClickFunnels for really anything because when you're building a website to try to rank in the local search engines, ClickFunnels is really not needed. So anyways, I will see you guys in the dashboard. Okay, so welcome into the dashboard. If you just created a brand new HostGator account, this is going to look a lot different than this one here because this is an old account that I've had for a while and I didn't switch it over to their new platform, which looks a lot more sleek. But either way, what we're doing is the exact same thing. First thing that you will want to do is head over to the email that you used with the account when you signed up. So that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna see an email from HostGator that says your account info. Everything here is blurred out for obvious reasons, but there is going to be name server, the first one, and then the second one. You're gonna to wanna to copy the first one, head over to Namecheap, head into your domain list, and then click manage. Go down to name servers here, and then you're gonna select custom DNS. We're gonna paste the first one in the first line, and then the second one in the second line. And then you click the check mark, and it may take a little bit of time. I believe it's up to 48 hours for it to take effect. So now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click the login link, to head over to the cPanel. Now in order to log in to your cPanel, you're going to need the username that you created at the time when you bought the hosting from HostGator. So then the password, they just sent you in an email and it's going to be like a random series of letters and numbers. So click login. Okay, so now we're here in the backend. Now you're going to want to scroll down to software. 
And what we're going to do is just quick install. It's going to open up another tab and we're going to go right here to WordPress. You're going to see all these things here. Just ignore all of that. Go to WordPress, click it. You're going to want to select your domain for the installation. So we have our information listed in here with the settings, with the name and admin, that sort of stuff. So next you're going to click install and this should take just a minute. So the installation was complete. So they're going to give you this username, password, that sort of stuff. You also get that in an email with link to login. And what you'll want to do is basically head over to your domain forward slash WP dash admin. And that's where you're going to go to log in to get into the back end of your site. So I'll see you in the WordPress back end. The site's still displaying coming soon page once it's ready to launch. Click here. So we're going to click that right now, even though we have no content on the site. And let's start setting up the initial things that we need. And so right now we do not have the site secure. We're gonna go grab really simple SSL, which is a plugin, and then we're going to install that. So click install and then activate. You may have to reach out to HostGator support and they do this for you. I'm gonna try this on my site right here right now to see if we can make it work. So it appears I'm gonna to have to reach out to HostGator support. This is pretty much what happens every single time with a new website when I want to install an SSL. We'll just let them do it. Usually it takes them a little bit of time and then it takes some propagation time too. So not a huge deal. It's just something that you have to deal with. It comes with the territory of building a website when you compare it to having to wait for a contractor to show up on a job site and they might be two weeks out. Uh, this is a this is merely just a minor speed bump. So what I'll do in this video, being as this is going to be a multi-part series, I'm gonna show you guys the settings I'm going to set up for this particular site and then we're gonna wrap this up. And then be sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos. So for general, all is well there. We don't wanna change the URL name yet. We'll let HostGator do that. We're gonna come down to writing. Everything's good here. We wanna make sure that the update services are sent to rpc.pingomatic. So we're gonna come down here to permalinks and you're gonna to wanna to have post name be the URL for the actual posts and pages that you make. So that's how we can make our true services pages, our contact page, our about us page, where it would just be the domain.com slash service area slash services, whatever it is. That's how you have that set up properly. So anyways, now that we have our basic settings handled, I'm gonna wrap up this video for today. I'm gonna to get in contact with HostGator support. Thankfully, it's 24 seven. We're gonna get this SSL set up. So, so if you like this type of content, be sure to go down below, drop a like on this video. And if you wanna stay up to date on the journey, then join the ever-growing family. Be sure to go down below, smash that subscribe button. Also hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content is live here on the channel. And also, if you wanna learn more in-depth information on building websites, ranking them in the search engines, monetizing them with paper call affiliate campaigns or a lead generation campaign, there's a link to my course right down below. And also if you wanna download the nine most profitable paper call lead gen niches, there is a link to download that in the description as well. So anyways guys, I'm gonna to get to work on this and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.